Who dat? That's what I'm talking about. That win today. Oh man, that was great. First of all, if you checked out my last video, I said that we would win 28 to 10. And what was the final score? Damn right, it was 28 to 10. I called it. Man, that, that's just awesome. I called that game. The exact score. I'm so proud of myself. And I said that I also said that Ingram was gonna call, was gonna have a big game. I know it was 30 carries for 100 yards, but he had two touchdowns. So that was pretty. That, that was 14 points for him. And then Breeze had a rushing touchdown, and then Jimmy Graham caught a touchdown from Breeze. And you know what happened in the first half? We couldn't score until the last couple minutes. Which is unusual. So Carolina has contained for a while. Breeze threw an early pit. I thought we were in for. I was a little shocked by that. But guess how many points Carolina put up that uh, up at the half? Zero. Zero. And we we're we we're stopping them on third down. Our defense. Cameron Jordan got a sack. Thank you very much. So start the half. Cam Newton scrambled and got some first. I uh, started the second half. Cam Newton scrambled and got some first downs. On third and goal, he cut it to a seven point game. Now you might be like, oh, now they're going to be back in this. No, no, no. We're going to put, this is where we put, we put our foot on the gas pedal right now. A couple drives later, we get down to fourth and goal at the one, and Drew Brees, when we go for it, on fourth and goal, obviously, and we score a touchdown. Of a because a quarterback sneak by Drew Rouge, so we get that and we're up twenty one to seven. So we pretty much got it. Then our defense comes up big. We stop them, limit the Panthers to a field goal. And they get twenty one to ten. A little later in the game, we haven't scored yet. Blah blah. blah. A little later in the game, they're driving down the field again, right? And we stop them again, and we get a pick. I think I think we get a pick. For how, when did we get that pick? Cause I thought I was gonna be able to watch that game, but it was actually not on CBS because Roger Dell and all the NFL people they made that TV contract, and they like they really tricked me because the first eight games were on CBS. And I guess the last eight games are all on NFL Network, which I don't have unfortunately. So I was pretty ticked off because I had college all day until. About 6.15. I was looking forward to watching my Saints play. And I couldn't. I tried to go on the computer and then my internet went down and I fixed that. So it was really a pain. So I just had to watch like the box score and look on Twitter. See what we did. But I heard Corey White got in another uh, pick. So that's awesome. Because that's the second straight game he's got a pick. And I know everybody's been going wee wee. I'm not, not me. But some people have been, been really hard on him. Well, he's played great the last two games, so you can't, I mean, he's show, she's shown up and our defense has shown up the last two games. So that was awesome. And to put the game away, guess who puts, guess who puts the game away? Mark Ingram, that's right. And that, was, and that made us score 28 points. And that was about, I think, five minutes or so to go, a little under five minutes. I mean, it was like 5 or 5 or something. Or maybe 4 or 55. And we scored a touchdown. So we easily beat Carolina. I think next up we have San Francisco at home. So we're going to beat them. And I'll make a hate week video about them. I know the receivers are good, but I don't, I'm not really sold on Kaepernick. So. And our defense is doing really good. And I, just, I don't think it's going to be that tough against San Francisco, but we'll see. We'll see how we do against San Francisco next week. We have 10 days off. So And, and it's home, so we might... Blow them out even more than we did at Green Bay and Carolina because it's at home and we had 10 days off. 10 days off? That's pretty good. Oh, yeah, and we're at the top of our division. Sole, sole possession of top of our division. 4-4. Four and four. Yeah, We're working our way up. If we can get a home field advantage, oh, we're going we're gonna to be in, we're, we're gonna be in some business because if we get home field advantage, we're going to do some things. And if we continue to win on the road, because I keep on hearing, oh, everyone's picking us. Uh, first take. I'm going back to first take, for example. Okay, so Steve A. Smith, you remember how he he picked us to go to the Super Bowl at the beginning of the year, and then we started out one and four, I think. One no not one and four. One and three. And he's like 
I'm dumb, the nerd of ain'ts. It's like, excuse me, I I'm sorry, you have absolutely, you don't know any football whatsoever, but you don't call us the ain'ts, because now we're at 4-4 four and four and we're we're doing work now, okay? What else is there? And then Skip Bayless is like, are you sure you're going to pick against the, the Saints? And Steve is like, oh, they're on the road, so they're not going to win. There's no way they're going to win. And it's the Saints on the road, they haven't won like in a year or something. It's like, we love them. We won in week 12 last year, thank you very much. So, it's not been a year. Stephen A. Smith, it's, it's been like a year and three-fourths. I mean, it's been like not a year and three-fourths. It's been like like a little more three-and-a-fourths of a year. So, you're wrong there. And we're going to win next game. So, until then, go Saints, Who that Nation.